Hi guys. This is Diagratech. Today, we are going to download and install Forta Client version 7 on Windows 11. Let's proceed, we will download first the Forta Client setup application. Open your web browser. Go to support.fortinet.com and log into your account. If you have devices linked to your account then you can download it here. But if you don't have an account then you can download it from the link on the description below. Now, click on support. Firmware download. Under select product, choose for the client. Click download. In this window, you will choose which operating system you want to install the application. We have the option for Android, iOS, Linux, Mac, and Windows. Since I'm using Windows as my operating system then I will choose Windows. Next is you will select the version categories, since we are going to install the latest version then we will select the last one which is version 7. During the time of this recording, we only have one option available which is 7.0. The current specific version is 7.0.0. In this window, you can download and read the version release notes. Now, you will select the operating system version in which you want to install the application. You have the versions available for 32-bit and 64-bit. Make sure to download the correct file. Take note. You can install 32-bit version on 64-bit but you cannot install 64-bit on 32-bit version. To check your operating system version, go to your desktop, right-click on my computer, Properties. You can see the operating system type is 64-bit. Now. Go back to your web browser and choose the x64.exe for 64-bit. Click on HTTPS to download the file. While waiting for the file to be downloaded, you can check the release notes. You can also search for Forta Client 7 release notes. Here, you can see all the details regarding this version. I will just show you the product integration and support. For desktop operating system, it support Windows 10, Windows 8.1, and Windows 7. It supports both 32 and 64-bit versions. Forta Client 7.0 does not support Windows XP and Windows Vista. For server operating system, it only support Windows Server 2008 R2 and above. Forta Client 7.0 does not support Windows Server Core. Lastly, the minimum system requirements, Microsoft Windows compatible with Intel processors or equivalent. Forta Client on Windows does not support ARM-based processors. 512 MB of RAM and 600 MB free hard disk space, etc. You can also check the resolved issues and also the known issues. Now, let's check the downloaded file. Double click on it to install. You must check the box to agree to the license agreement the click next. We will leave the folder location to default so click next, click install. Now, wait for it to install the application. I will fast forward the video. Notice the shortcut application created on desktop. Completed the Forta Client VPN Setup Wizard. Click Finish. You will have a shortcut automatically created on desktop and on the taskbar. Now, let's run the application. Check the box to agree then click I accept. Click Configure VPN to proceed. This is a fresh install so no configuration is present. You can either connect to the remote site using IPsec VPN or SSL VPN. 
This depends on the remote site configuration. To check the application version, click on the information or I icon. You can see the version is 7.0.0. In my case, I already configured SSL VPN, you can check my other video for SSL and IPsec VPN configuration. Let's test to connect to the remote site. Enter your preferred connection name. Description is optional, for the remote gateway, you can enter your dynamic DNS or the public IP address of the remote site. If you haven't customized the port then you can leave it but if you did, check the box then input the port number configured. You can choose save login for you not to enter your username every time you want to access the remote site. Now, enter your username and click save. Enter your password then click connect to connect to your remote site. Click yes to proceed. In this window, you can see the current connection details. The VPN name, the IP address received, this is your SSL VPN IP address configured on the remote site. The username, time duration, the bytes received and bytes sent. To disconnect, simply click on disconnect. To add a new connection. Click on the burger icon, select add a new connection. Enter the connection details of the new remote site. To edit the remote site settings, click on the burger icon again, click edit the selected connection. You can now edit the remote site. Once done, click save. Now, let's back up the configuration. This is very useful especially if you have bunch of remote sites configured. For you not to enter all those details again, simply back up and restore the configuration. You can also restore it to other device or after fresh installation. To do this, click on the settings or gear icon. Since we are going to back up the configuration then choose backup. Locate where you want to save the backup file. We will save it on desktop. Enter your desired file name, we will name it for the client backup. Click save. Now, enter your desired backup file password. You will use this one to restore the backup file. Click OK once done. Backup file created successfully. Notice the backup file created on desktop. Now, we will restore the backup file, assuming it's a fresh install or new device. But first, we will delete the current remote connection. To do this, click on the burger icon, choose delete the selected connection. You will be asked if you want to delete the connection, click yes. Now, it's like a fresh install, click on configure VPN. You can see we don't have any current remote site. To back up the configuration, click on settings or gear icon. Notice the restore option is grayed out. Click on the padlock icon to unlock advanced features. We have now the option to restore. Click on it. Locate the backup file. Which in my case it's in desktop. Click on it then click open. Enter the backup file password. Click OK. Configuration restored successfully. Go to Home. Notice the remote site has been restored. To verify the configuration, you can click on the burger icon then choose Edit the selected connection. Notice the remote site we have configured earlier. Well. That's all for today's demonstration. You can check my other videos for VMware, GNS3 and Fortigate tutorials. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials, 
Thank you and see you in the next video.